Buy my shirt. Buy my shirt. Buy my hat. Buy it all. Come watch me stream. Yeah. Oh my god. I have been waiting for this video. Guys, today we have a guest in the studio. Hi, everybody. I Welcome honestly... back to my channel. Uh, Spring Break 2020. Uh, what? They tell you your friends are a reflection of you. Or that you're a reflect. Either way, it adds up. Hey everybody, what's up? If you're new to my channel, my name is Chris Clemens, or if you're one of my Clementines, welcome back to the dysfunction that is my, ch my channel. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you so much for that welcome. No, thank you so much for that welcome. Yeah, like I said, I have been, um, what do people say, chomping at the bit? No, Chris, no one says that. I have been waiting actual weeks, plural, at this point, to open all of these packages, but I figured that this is like the peak Chris Clemens video. I bought some shit, it involves weed. Oh yeah, that's gonna be like a whole tricky obstacle course getting through this video. As a lot of you guys probably know, Seth Rogen released a weed line and like a houseware line. And if you know me, I love Seth Rogen. He's my little Caucasian prince, okay? No, I wouldn't bang him. Oh my god, he's like a father figure. Never find out <laughs> Clearly my dad left. <laughs> Seth Rogen, if you're watching this, Smokes a lot. stop. I want you to be my dad. <laughs> oh my god, this video is gonna be a nightmare to edit. But yeah, Seth Rogen came out with a weed line and a houseware line called Houseplant, and I think it launched like March 11th. It is now March 23rd, and I have everything here. And I figured I would open it and review it, and I don't know, just essentially really try and make an argument of why I can write it off my taxes. That's kind of... Yeah. I know this is weird, but I really do enjoy seeing celebrity products and what people are able to do with their own kind of creative direction. I don't know. It's very weird. I don't want to stunt, but I did get everything, you know, with like a little asterisk. We'll get to that. But we'll get to that after a quick word from our sponsors, which is Surfshark VPN. Thank you so much for sponsoring this video. Now, if you've missed the videos where I have worked with Surfshark VPN in the past, Basically, Surfshark is an app or a browser extension that lets you place your phone or your laptop anywhere in the world and lets you surf the internet or access the internet as if you were in that country. I've talked about this in my past videos where I've worked with Surfshark and I really do love the ability to access, I know it sounds dumb because it's a literal VPN, but to access other Netflix libraries in other countries, not that to all the boys I've ever loved part 109 isn't doing it for me. Also with people getting vaccinated and things opening up again, you're gonna wanna have your photos, your videos, all of your data extra protected on public Wi-Fi, which you can do with Surfshark VPN. Not to drive the point completely home, but Surfshark is the only VPN to offer one account with an unlimited amount of devices. The proof's in the pudding. Use fucking Surfshark. Now, if you do want to use Surfshark, go to the link down below and use my code CLEMENS to get 83% off plus an extra three months free. And once again, Surfshark offers a 30-day money-back guarantee, so if you're not happy, there's really no risk in doing this at all. Thank you Surfshark for sponsoring this video and constantly supporting my channel. I, oh my God, I have some houseplant to review, baby. Oh my God. So that little asterisk I was talking about earlier when I said I got everything, I got everything except two of the strains of weed. I live in California, so it's obviously very legal and it was the only place you were able to purchase it. It was like Hunger Games wishes there was this level of competition. I purchased this with my own money. I'll get into all of that later. Hi, Booger. If you are also trying to get this on launch day like I was, you know how stressful this was. I'm not really gonna get into the launch because honestly, I like, it, I blacked out. This bag has the actual flower in it and these boxes have like the house good, home good kind of products that he was selling. Like I said, I did get all of the homeware which after taxes and shipping came to a total of $520.70. So this was not like a cheap research project at all. For the flower in total, after fees, service fees, all of that, it came to $156. So together, holy shit, I spent way too much. So in total, I paid $676 and 70 cents for all of this and I figured let's fucking get into it. Now the weed obviously since it was only sold in Los Angeles came the next day via normal weed delivery. It felt very seamless and normal. So this I have not smoked in like literally almost two weeks and I feel very proud of myself for not having like even snuck a crumb. But before we review the real goods, I want to see all the homeware stuff because I live for this shit. Right, so this came about like a week later and oh my god I hate packing peanuts. Oh. So here's the houseplant ashtray set by Seth, and then here is the houseplant block table lighter. I think the packaging is honestly really nice. Everything you see on the box is raised up a little. I don't know, I just really like 
this. I think it's very pretty. Let's open the ashtray set first because I'm very excited about this. So it slides out. Oh, whoa. Come on, foam packaging. Wow, that brought me back to childhood. You know that, like those foam boards. Oh my God. Right? Okay, so this is like gonna sound like I'm trying to flex, but I'm really not. In standard Chris Clements fashion, just like the most secondhand embarrassment you're gonna get. So I don't know why, but Seth Rogen follows me on Instagram and Twitter. And he's obviously very big into pottery and ceramics and stuff. So every time he posts like these ashtrays he makes, I like just like slam my keyboard and send it. No thoughts, just vibes, I guess. He hasn't unfollowed me yet, which is a miracle. But I have been dying to try these kinds of ashtrays because I just, I have, I could go on about how I think so many ashtrays are just so poorly built. But anyways, lastly, here is the vase that I'm not really, is this just like literally a vase? Oh, it's just literally a vase. The reason I'm excited for this is because with most ashtrays, I feel like if you even like sneezed in the direction of the ashtray, shit flies everywhere. And with this, it kind of keeps the ash in the cup, which... And then this on my coffee table is gonna look just fucking stunning. Next up, I have the houseplant block table lighter, and this one was a lot pricier at $220. Once again, it slides out, and I'm a little nervous about this. Oh, it's so much smaller than I honestly imagined. Does this not have instructions? Oh no, Seth, this is the one I would love instructions for. Okay, so there are no instructions, which has me worried. This is the lighter, and honestly, I think I'm actually glad it's not as big as I was envisioning it, because this definitely can fit on a coffee table much more, like, low-key than I thought. There's orange leather in this hole and on the bottom, which I like because it won't, like, scratch if you like, you know? Okay. Fun. This is heavy. This is a little heavy, mama. The way this works is the top comes off and can be used as an ashtray as well. And then the lighter just sits here. I do love this in terms of no one is ever gonna steal this lighter. And if they do, I'm honestly gonna find them, find the lighter and then reintroduce them to it. No, I didn't buy Pam. I bought butane, which is what this lighter requires. Okay, so my box did not come with houseplant instructions to open this. However, they are on their Instagram, so we're gonna to try and do this. Okay. I'm like so scared of shit like this because I just picture it immediately blowing up. <gasps> oh my god! <gasps> this is <sighs> worth every dollar. This on a table? Hey, I need a smoke. Oh my god, Seth Rogen, is this hole for me to go, oh, uh, with the heart on? I got that was way too far, Chris. Okay, I definitely do need to make the flame way shorter. Oh, look how cute! Okay, so now it might be a little too small. Wow, I love butane lighters so much more than lighter fluid ones. Oh my god. Next, I'm opening the vinyl set he created that you can play while smoking the different strains that his line offers. I just recently brought my record player from Delaware to Los Angeles when I drove back, so I'm super excited to be able to play these. This is what it looks like. It's a set of three. There's a sativa session, a hybrid session, and an indica session. If you didn't know, on my Apple Music and Spotify pages, I have playlists called sativa and indica because I think having like a vibe for your smoke session is great. So I love this as a concept. Low-key mad he did it first, but that's beside the point. So this is them out of the container. Each one has a different runtime that's listed on it. I think this is just fun. Ooh, here's someone's handprint. Oh my god, Seth, is that your fingerprint? Wow, I can't wait to listen to these while I'm smoking later. Now that we're done with the house portion of house plant, we are going to move on to the plant portion of house plant. I kept it in all of its original parts. This is the bag it came in. It comes with matches. Oh my god, these are the coolest looking matches I've ever seen. I did end up getting two of the pancake ice, which is a sativa whole flower cannabis. House plant buds only come from the top of the plant where the highest quality flower is found. Bigger, better buds and always fresh. So we will see if that holds true. Probably the most important important aspect of this brand to me is how is a white person giving back to the weed community and those who are not white and who have suffered consequences from marijuana. In this pamphlet, and I know that they've talked about this in their mission a lot, they are firmly committed to creating a more equitable cannabis industry for anyone who wants to be a part of it. That starts with making sure Houseplant is a diverse and inclusive place to work and includes educating people about the racist history and current racism of prohibition as well as what they can do to make a difference. That's obviously a very important thing to bring up uh, if you're owning a weed brand and I like that. Like I said, I only got one of the 
Strains, which was pancake ice, and that is apparently a mix of chem dog and mandarin cookies. This is what the packaging looks like. I'm gonna rip the cardboard off so you can see a better look at the actual tin itself. These feel very Lego-y to me, and they are able to stack, which I think is a really cool idea. <laughs> Quite on set. This alone on like a little dresser is Kind of cute. The total THC is 33.32%. For those wondering, I don't know what I'm really supposed to talk about. All right, so it opens and... Oh. Ah! <laughs> I'm not gonna show the actual flower on camera because I'm trying not to have this shit show be deleted. So I grabbed one of my trusty middle kid grinders. These are the best fucking grinders I've ever used. So I'm grinding it up and it grinds really easily. Oh my god, it ground up so nice. So I'm gonna take it one step further and actually roll a J, but I will not be smoking it on camera, even though it is perfectly legal in the state of California. Oh, being a YouTuber in California. <laughs> Hi. I feel like I just got high for the first time. <laughs> I feel like I just got high for the first time! Ooh. Hello? <laughs> I used one nug about this big and it rolled a joint that was pretty sizable for little old me. Rogan, I hope you're watching. I need a trash bag of pancake, pancake ice. Pan Cocky ice. I'll fucking take that. I can't believe I waited almost two weeks to try this, but let me tell you, it was beyond worth the wait. Now that we've gone through everything and I've really done my research, I figured I should give like a final, a final grade, Mr. Rogan. I don't know why I saved a final review full of words as the last thing to do for this video, but here we go, I'm gonna try. I would say that the plant part of Houseplant, 10 out of 10, worth every penny. I wanna like smoke this and then like literally have a full heated pool day. Now when we go to the house part of Houseplant, I really do overall enjoy this kind of stuff. This might just be my own personal opinion. I know I'm reviewing this before listening to it, but to me, I really just enjoy getting almost a playlist that was picked for me. This lighter is probably going to be the thing that I use most. I've never bought a $220 lighter before. I'm not even going to pretend like I have. And I really enjoy this. It's a fun experience. I probably won't use the lid as an ashtray just because I feel like that will get really weird and then get on the silver stuff. Lastly, we have the ceramic vase and ashtray set. And this is the one I'm probably not least excited about, but like I'm so excited to have this ashtray finally. But the vase I don't really need. But this ashtray I just used and I really fucking loved it and it once again supported my theory that it is a superior ashtray. So all in all, I would give this like a nine, nine and a half. I really like this. I think it's a way to really normalize the stigma around weed and show that it's just the same as having nice decanters or wine glasses or things like that. I think this is really great. Thanks guys for watching. Hope you felt like you were here unboxing it with me. Wow, it did, was this five hours? I feel like I have truly transported not only time but also space. What? Yeah, I gotta go.